In this short video, I'm going to explain what campaign name means in Google Ads and how you use this particular function. So campaign name, basically, when you're setting up a Google Ads campaign, you'll be asked to give one. Uh, long story short, it can be whatever you want it to be. There is no set naming convention. Uh, the other thing to bear in mind is that campaign name has absolutely no effect on the performance of your campaign. Your uh, target customers, the people you're trying to show your ads to, they won't ever see the campaign name. It's just an internal reference so that when you go into your account, and you load up your campaigns. If you've got more than one campaign, you can kind of understand quickly what you're looking at. So for example, let's say you had a campaign where you only wanted to target uh, keywords relating to your own brand name or products. You might call it something like a you know, brand campaign, right? So you might call it brand campaign, or if you were say selling uh, shoes and you had a specific campaign for men's shoes with different types of men's shoes as ad groups underneath like running shoes or tennis shoes or golf shoes, you might call it men's shoes. Right, the campaign name can be whatever you want it to be as long as you understand what that name relates to. It isn't going to affect the performance of your campaign. You don't need to come up with some sort of ultra complicated naming structure. Uh, I feel like agencies sometimes and freelancers get very, very caught up in this. You know, I've audited and worked on accounts where there's been you know, seemingly more work put into the campaign naming structure than there has been into the actual campaign setup and management itself. I suspect part of the reason for that is to create a structure that looks so complicated that uh, you know, someone else is almost put off trying to delve into it and understand what's going on. At the end of the day, if you understand your campaign name, you can look at it and say, well, I know what's in there ad group wise and keyword wise and so on. That's all that matters. So campaign name really isn't as important as you think it is. Obviously, if you have you know dozens, hundreds of campaigns, you want to have some kind of structure so that you can actually uh, you know, more efficiently look at your campaign names. Where campaign name is quite helpful to have a structure as well is if you use the uh, sort of filtering function within Google Ads to filter to specific campaign names. So let's say using the shoes example, you want to filter to any kind of shoes campaign as long as you always have a structure along the lines of say, um, you know, category slash gender and then shoes. That way, if you have, you know, kids shoes, as a campaign or women's shoes as a campaign. What that means is as long as you search for shoes in the filtering section, uh, you know, you can filter to only show campaigns based on what's in the campaign name, you'll pull up all your shoes related campaigns really easily. But outside of that, honestly, there's, there's no hard and fast rules. You can call your campaigns anything you like. You can call them, you know, just any old combination of digits and letters and it will still work. It's not going to affect the performance. So don't worry too much about this, about what campaign name means. The main thing is just have an internal reference system that works for you and your business. Uh, and then think about if you are managing a reasonable number of campaigns, what's the most logical way to lay out your campaign naming structure? If you've got any questions, please do let me know in the comments section. Please like this video if it was helpful and subscribe for more free Google Ads advice.